Over the last year, we have been working very hard to understand what the public is looking for in the open source community. And what they're looking for from us at Alameda County is for us to make our data that is not protected openly and available to the public in its raw and intelligent format. Today's event is really uh, a way for us to highlight that to the public and to see what they're going to do with the resource that we put out on the web for them. And we're really looking forward to some exciting apps by the end of the day. Uh, the one thing that they should take away from this is that we are committed to open government, uh, so they should be using uh, data.acgov.org as the data portal for their use and they keep on hacking. So Credit is a, a Seattle-based company that we specialize in helping uh, governments and government agencies uh, who want to share open data with their constituents and developers. We help them get the data online, uh, help them use, uh, provide tools to visualize the data, and also APIs to help developers build applications with the data. So my goal here is uh, to get as many of these developers working on apps today using the APIs that Socrata is helping um, the Alameda County government provide for their data and get them building applications that do rich and interesting things with data and, and are uh, kept always in sync with the data on the website. I'm here representing Code for America, which is a nonprofit that works with cities, uh, both citizens and uh, city governments, to try to build uh, web applications and otherwise use technology to help connect cities with citizens and help cities work a little better. I think open data is fundamentally about the opportunities presented by giving people free access to information because there's a lot of people out there with the capability to do analysis, to build stuff on top of data, but you know, until there's an infrastructure to actually let people have easy access to that data, they're not even going to have the idea to do something with it. We as developers need data sources, so we build our apps, but a lot of time we need third-party content, and that's really great. And being able to know what is out there in the government and actually having access to that data to better benefit the users. Um, a lot of times we can go to Google or these, these web services, but they're private, but having access to census data and other public APIs has been really great. We've just been at a number of hackathons recently and you know there's some pretty big prize money involved but we're also trying to, to learn some new hacking skills as well. Uh, open data means um, you can combine different data sets from different areas and try and come up with a new knowledge base based on the intersection of the two. Yelp is the go-to food platform but it doesn't have the restaurant inspections data so if that data is open Maybe there's some way to easily combine it with the existing framework. We're building FeedMe. It's an application for finding local food trucks, uh, local restaurants, uh, and seeing their health ratings. During the lunch, we were talking about how cool it is, oh, like yeah. government sponsoring a hackathon. It's just awesome. Plus, there's a room for a lot of collaboration, bring a lot of ideas onto the table, making use of the cutting edge technology. Yeah. And we'll ask for more. So the government will end up benefiting. The citizens of this county will benefit from all this collaboration and this open data. Uh, with the data, you can have great mobile apps. Um, that help the public get to the services that we offer. So I think it's a really great thing. We've been tweeting about you know when stuff's going on. People have been asking questions through Twitter, which we've been answering. We actually helped a couple uh, people hook up and work on an application, so that was kind of cool. Partnering with other county agencies to host this today, and we're delighted because this is the kind of role that we think is just wonderful for a library. So. Uh, we're happy to be part of this. I know that they were interested in having a, a mid-county location, so it worked out great. And because we have the new facility, we were able to uh, have the tech that we needed to put it together. I just heard that there are 220 people on our Wi-Fi right now at this moment. I know one of the ideas somebody's working on today is connected to the library. I just got called for jury duty, and I thought, gee, I wish there was a jury duty app, so maybe that'll come up today. So we, we think there's plenty of things that people can do uh, so that they'll, they'll know how to improve the quality of life for everybody in Alameda County. It's just fascinating seeing the creativity and ingenuity that folks came up with uh, over the course of the day, and then being able to uh, present uh, the concept in such a short period of time. So uh, you know, I'm sure that uh, our, our staff uh, have uh, seen a lot and I think there's some things hopefully we're going to be able to uh, utilize. And I just appreciate the fact that all of you came out today. But I really want you to know that uh, uh, County Supervisors and President Board Supervisors, we definitely um, really want to promote and support this type of endeavor. Hopefully we'll be doing another one of these hackathons. And I want to thank the County.
County staff for you know, working on this. But uh, hopefully all of you found this very uh, beneficial and a good use of your time. This is not an easy task, but we have narrowed it down to the top three winners. And we do have some honorable mentions that I do want to acknowledge. So our first honorable mention goes to ACPOI. All right. To Alameda Seniors. To the Click Help. Park Safe, another honorable mention. And our last honorable mention is Martin. Our third place winner, Snap Mapper. People who do take a uh, use how fresh can use snap mapper and download cool places to eat, fresh food, low cost fake lot. Our second place awardee is A C P R. A C P R is one of our youth groups and we really want to acknowledge them for coming out and their great work. So much appreciated.